Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Aaron. This is 3D Studio Max 2016 and today I'm going to show you how to use Mass Effects Fracture and I'm going to show you how to fracture some objects that you might want to fracture in your scene. Alright, so here we are in 3D Studio Max 2016. This is my layout right here. I'm in perspective view right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my box view. I'm going to just create a hypothetical wall right here. Just bring this up. I'm going to create a sphere. I'm going to bring my sphere, say, right here. It doesn't matter really where it is location-wise, but I want to make sure that I'm going to use my move tool and make sure my ball is up off the ground and it is relatively about here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate my ball to go pass through my wall here. And the way that I do that is using the auto key down below here, making sure it's in record mode. And I'm going to make a keyframe for frame 0, and I'm going to move my frame to frame 30. And I'm going to just move my ball here that's going to pass through the wall and stop about there. And then I'm going to turn auto key off. Now, as soon as I turn auto key off, I just want to verify that my motion is, has been confirmed and it's going to move back and forth like this. Now, I'm going to go into my perspective view and enlarge this using the bottom right hand corner to enlarge this view. Now, here, in order to use the fracture to take this object and break it all apart, you could use a slice tool and slice this up and get all crazy with it, but there's another method to do this and the method that I chose to use is on a website called scriptspots.com if I pull it up here scriptspots.com for 3d studio max there's a fracture Veroni uh, script here for 3d studio max and you should use the version 1.1 that's right here which is the latest version that they have right now this website has a ton of different types of scripts you can use and explore uh, I encourage you to go check it out there's a lot of cool stuff on this website so enjoy and I'll show you how this one works so let me minimize this and get back to here I'm going to go to scripting right above here in 3D Studio Max. I'm going to go hit run script. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the file that was just downloaded, Fracture Veroni, and I'm going to click on that and hit open. Once you do so, the script is running. This is the script. It's going to say pick object. I want to pick my wall object. And it's going to ask me for the number of parts. I want to break this wall, uh, wall into, say, 25 parts. Remember, keep in mind that the higher the amount, the more fracture it is. Uh, the more uh, it's going to take on your processor and your time to break it all into all pieces. What some people do is they break it into 25 chunks and they break it into more smaller chunks and more smaller chunks and more smaller chunks uh, depending where most of the action is going to happen. But for right now, I'm just going to show a demonstration to break, get this wall to break using uh, like this. All right, the material ID is that set to 7. A lot of this we're not going to change. We're going to see what says material channel is channel 3. Uh, real world map size, we're going to leave that checked. Building hierarchy is unchecked. The multicolor is a great way to see the different items that have been broken into 25 different pieces. Uh, or you could keep it uniform if you'd like. You can do boxes, uh, break box centers, or volumetric centers, cell centers. I'm going to choose the volumetric cells and let's see what that happens. I'm going to hit break in the key here. And you'll notice it broke into 25 individual blocks right here. Now, this basically all the script does is it fractures the piece up into a bunch of different pieces. What we then are going to do is we're going to take this piece and we got to add some physics to it. So I'm going to select and highlight my boxes, my box that I'd like to, to work with. And what you can do, there's two different methods. What I'm going to do right now in this example is I'm going to right click this and bring down the Mass Effects toolbar. So when you see the toolbar here, you're going to see this drop down box here. And I'm going to just open this up by clicking on this little box here. And this is the Mass Effects tools. And it just showcases, showcases what's going on up here and down here. It's kind of like the preferences for this. Now you're going to see um, the, a ball icon, a t-shirt. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Some kind of soccer ball roundhouse kick there. A restart, play, and fast forward and adjust the simulation one frame at a time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to select and hold this down and make this a dynamic rigid body. Now when we make this a dynamic rigid body you'll notice that some lines start to show up here and you'll see over here um, in the preferences here in the different tabs that they have here at the top here I think what they say is multi object editor, display options, simulation tools and world parameters. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to this view right here where it says multi object editor. Now if I leave this right now as it is and don't do anything to it and I hit play on my Mass Effects toolbar, you'll see what will happen. The wall will actually crumble. See how it just falls apart just like that? It just kind of falls and there it goes. Boom. Now what I'm going to do is I don't want it to fall like that right away because nothing happened to it. I want to start it in sleep mode. So if I start it in sleep mode, 
nothing's going to happen to this wall until something else actually hits it. But right now, if I hit play, nothing's going to happen because I didn't tell Mass Effects that this is a solid object. That's why it's going right through it. So let's restart that scene. I am now going to select this ball, uh, the sphere, and I'm going to select this drop down menu and make this a kinematic rigid body. So kinematic basically means anything that's moving will affect it will affect other objects that are dynamic. And this being dynamic, this will, ball will hit that. So I'm going to take this ball and I'm going to go to the properties that are over here and I'm going to go down to, let's see, where is it, right? Yeah, I was in the right area. It was right here, presets. I'm going to make this a steel ball if you click on presets. And I'm also going to so make this, um, which is already kinematic. Where is it? Right here. Uh, I'm going to use sphere and because it's a sphere, spherical object. Now if I rewind this thing and I hit play on the keyboard on the um, Mass Effect toolbar here I should say and I hit play it'll smash apart as expected. So let me go back to that. Let me play that again because it's always cool to watch a couple times. Now if I like that scene what I can do is I can actually bake that into every single frame that's down here in my timeline. So then let me reverse that and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to where it says right here in the simulation toolbar and if I hit bake all it'll go through every single frame and you'll notice down here it's going to and it's going to populate everything and it should populate the actual action if I click on this you'll see all these little tick marks here this is the actual frame by frame of what's actually happening here and what you can do is then you can actually delete these keys and play around with it later on but right now I'm going to undo that and show you another method to creating a breaking wall effect all right, so here's the second method to creating the wall effect here. I'm going to start over from scratch. I'm going to open up uh, this time. I'm going to do, I don't know, let's make a, a column here and let's bring this up just like that. I'm going to go again to my scripting. I'm going to open up the run script, Fracture Veroni, pick my object, pick the cylinder. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to break this into 25 pieces. It doesn't really matter. Um, and I'm going to do volumetric centers and I'm going to hit break. Once it breaks it into pieces, you will then see here in the modify area, you're going to go to the modify drop down list. And in this modify drop down list, you should be seeing this once I select it. You should see down here, it'll say Mass Effects Rigid Body. Okay? It's the same tools that you saw that were listed here. This and this go hand in hand. So I'm just going to shut this off because you don't really need to see this, but I'm going to leave this up here. And what I'm going to do is this here, this object is going to be dynamic as it is. And if you can see the different presets, the object is the object right here. You can do cardboard, concrete, limestone, rubber, steel, etc. Whatever you want to make this column basically out of. And again, there's that start and sleep mode. So again, if I hit play right now, it'll just crumble apart and just break apart like that. It's not doing anything. It's falling to the ground. Um, I'm going to leave this as convex. You can click the shared type whether it's spheres uh, and you'll see this explode kind of just shoots all over the place it's pretty crazy you can do box types you can do capsules you can do concave and you can choose custom and see what custom does let's see what custom does custom doesn't really do much because it's just it's a custom shape I'm gonna leave it as convex for right now I know this is a little strange looking and it should not be exactly like that but um convert to custom shape let's see here uh, and then I click on custom, convert to custom shape. No, it doesn't do anything. All right, so I'm going to leave this back as concave. And what I'm going to do again, I'm just going to go to my um, sphere, grab a sphere. Again, I got to make sure that I intersect this sphere. So I'm going to use the move tool, auto key. Let's bring this this here, keyframe it, bring this frame 30. And I'm going to make sure that this ball goes right through. Uh, my bottom there and hit auto key off just so I can see that it's going actually through my my piece here as if it were like a cannonball going through a mast or something like that now what I'm gonna do here is go back to my um, sphere go to modify and I remember I'm gonna go this way I'm gonna go to mass effects rigid body I'm gonna make this kinematic and I'm gonna make sure that this here actually starts in sleep mode remember uh, oops did I grab the right one Modify. Oh, I didn't. Did I not do that? Where is it? Uh, Mass Effect's rigid body, dynamic, start and sleep mode. And what I'm going to do is 
rewind this thing and hit play to see what happens. Boom. There we go. There's our pieces that just blew apart. Boom. Until it happens. I know it's kind of exaggerated here, but the, the same effect applies. It's just that my ball is big and uh, you can get to play around with this and kind of move around and see what's going on with this sort of thing. I hope you enjoyed this. This is 3D Studio Max 2016 Mass Effects Toolbar and using the Fracture Veroni uh, script plugin. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, have a great day. Bye bye.